Well, hello to both of you. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Um, okay, so these characters are very layered mm -hmm. in this season. And there's the dynamics of power. And I really want to know how was to process that information to play them for this season. Oh, um, I think what really helped for me, because um, there's the intellectual processing and then there's the physicality of it. And um, so much of Danica's power comes from the social class, because like Altered Carbon has such striated social classes. Yeah. And um, it, A, her, her clothes really helped. Cynthia, Cynthia Summers, who's our costume designer, really kind of helped create this really structured, feminine, mm -hmm. unfettered, austere look. Um, and powerful, too, because those pow looks yeah. are powerful. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, and then with it, what does the physicality of someone who um, doesn't need compassion or doesn't, because they've reached this level of opulence. Like in, in ancient Greek theater and philosophy, there was this idea that the things that made us beautiful uh, and virtuous, what was our limitations and our mortality? Because the Greek mm -hmm. gods were these sort of capricious, air moralistic, mm -hmm. you know, tyrants because they were unlimited. And so mm -hmm. whenever you're a meth, you're kind of getting very close yeah. to that. So mm -hmm. I got to sort of play in that freedom and it was fun. Yeah. And for you. Awesome. Well, for me, um, well, I have to say, for me, the interesting thing is, first of all, you know, I, I play in somebody who has a military background. Colonel, Colonel uh, Ivan Kerr is the leader of the military special forces unit called, uh, called the Wedge. So uh, the first thing I was always thinking about is, um, you know, is rituals, chain of command, uh, structure, something, you know, and what, what kind of helped me during the process of, of preparing was working out twice a day, getting in physical shape, you know, trying to develop that discipline just around around the days of shooting. So that kind kind of helps you to find out what is really essentially needed for you mm -hmm. and what's not. And that kind of that kind of has an impact on you as a person for that time. It's also like the way your diet regime is, you know, that subconsciously works really, really well. And I could uh, I could really click with his um, set of, of, of values that he had, his deep morality, and also sometimes the immorality that come from moments where he's personally affected and especially the power play that both of these characters have with each other once they find out like who they really are and that they are to be reckoned mm -hmm. with that's that's where the fun part really started how is the process of understanding that you have a limited time to construct everything about a character like this with such huge past yeah it's uh it's challenging and terrifying especially i i think i came to this project sort of at the 11th hour and so I didn't have a lot of time to prep between getting the script in that first okay. uh, episode. And so what I generally try to do is I try to find underneath the fuel that sort of motivates the character. Mm -hmm. And from that, then these details. But Danica's hub is um, she had no mother. She literally, the backstory is that Conrad brought a clone and literally created a daughter in his own image. And the interesting thing of Altered Carbon, too, is when you take death away, children can't, there's no natural succession, mm -hmm. right? So she's, she's been in her father's shadow for, for 300 years, and what must that be like? And, you know, now he's abdicated and she can step into that. Mm -hmm. But that it's almost like a, a case of also arrested development, because if death and other happens, then what happens to the younger generations? Mm -hmm. They're stuck in the shadow mm -hmm. of their parents. That's awesome. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Oh,